Have you ever wanted to try a game that plays like an ARPG but side-scrolling cute? Then boy have I got a game for you! Maple Story has been around since 2003 and is considered by many to be one of the great classics of MMORPGs, featuring cute anime graphics, fast-paced combat and so many classes you're going to have an anxiety attack just deciding which one to make. If you've never played this game before or you did play it and want to go back, now is a great time to do it, as Maple Story is not only celebrating the hyper burning event, where for every level up your character gains 2 extra levels until level 250, but also it's celebrating the release of a new class named Kali. However, for the sake of this video, I have decided to not hyper burn my character because I wanted to get just a standard new player experience. So with that being said, join me and let's go check out Maple Story in 2023. Is it fun? As a new player, the first thing you'll notice about Maple Story is most likely the enormous amount of classes that you can choose from. As a matter of fact, 49 as of making this video. And now I can see that being overwhelming to some people, but to me, this is actually one of my favorite things about this game. I love having so much choice and variety, and yes, nearly all of these classes have their own unique playstyles. Basically, this is an auto hold extreme. For this playthrough, I'm going to choose the Aaron, who is like a combo-based warrior wielding a pole arm. And that brings me to character creation. Character creation in this game is very basic, you basically choose a gender and then you select the color of your skin, your face, your hair, usually the color of your hair but you can't see it now with the Aaron. That's because coincidentally the class I chose is what you call a hero class and those usually have limited customization. If you were to choose one of the explorer classes instead, for example, which is technically the default, now you can actually choose a bunch of skins, you can choose a bunch of faces, hairs, color of your hair. As an explorer, you can even change the outfit you start with and the weapon. But overall, character customization in this game is very limited, but to be fair, uh, Maple Story is the kind of game where you will later on have plenty of outfits to customize your character with. You're gonna have your face covered all the time, most likely. So although the character customization is limited, I don't think Maple Story is the kind of game that needs an advanced character creation. Wait, why is this part of the game stuck in 800 by 600 resolution? Has nobody told Naxon that we are not in the early 2000s anymore? Like the, those days are gone, Axon. Let go of the past. <laughs> oh my god, my character comes from a island of penguins. I love this 10 out of 10 best game ever. I'm sorry, game. Am I reading this monster's name correctly? As I'm level 15 now, I'm starting to unlock uh, what is the, this character's main ability, which is all these combos with the pole arm. I know it probably looks like I'm doing some crazy ass combos. Actually, what I'm doing is just pressing one button right now. This is what my gameplay looks like. Leveling to level 30 was fun, but a bit uneventful. It was just a quick storyline, occasionally asking me to stop and fight 50 or 100 monsters, and then automatically teleporting me to wherever I needed to go, which may be convenient, but I wasn't the biggest fan of since it takes away from a new player's sense of exploration. On the bright side, this did let me get familiar with the gameplay of my character's style. Maple Story Combat is very fast-paced with a heavy emphasis on movement, and it's surprisingly enjoyable. Also, I totally did not spend 10 minutes grinding a single monster trying to get a quest item to drop, only to then realize I was supposed to be destroying some random vases nearby instead. Eventually, I reached level 30 and then the game opened up a lot to me. I started using what this game calls the Maple Guide, and that gave me several choices of where to level until level 30. I could either just teleport to a few grinding spots and kill monsters there, or I can do these sort of quick side stories which the game calls Theme Dungeons. I decided to go with the Theme Dungeons and I'm glad I did because I think this is one of the things where Maple Story really excels. It's these sort of side stories like little bite-sized adventures with a lot of goofy silly humor 
that just makes everything so much enjoyable and memorable. Honestly, the game just became so much more fun as soon as I level 30. It feels so good actually using more than one ability now. I feel like my class is really starting to shine now. Love it. The first actual real boss I have to, to fight against in this game, and it's literally just a rabbit controlling some sort of transformer. Amazing. Okay. Well, don't mind me, I'm just saving the world from evil like and monsters. You're welcome. You sadistic bastards, that's what you get for making people around the world cry. Thanks to Fim Dungeons, I reached level 70 super quick, and I unlocked my third job by... Killing a crow thief. Twice. And in doing so, I then unlocked some sick new skills. I also realized through the maple guy that I had unlocked my first real boss fight in the game, which was supposed to drop a really good helmet. I kinda just picked the Aaron because I thought it looked cool, but then I did some research during the night and turns out Aaron is actually one of the best damage classes in the game. Oh, oh my god, my HP. No, 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 Jesus Christ. Potions! But fortunately, luck was not on my side and I did not get a sick new helmet. But also, as a consolation, I had also just unlocked possibly the best theme dungeon in the entire game. You know a storyline is about to be really good when it bothered actually giving it its own intro. Oh my god, look at this little mushroom here, she's adorable, man. Anna, dude, this is, this is the version of Anna you would meet in the middle of a fever dream. <laughs> so apparently in this story, the Prince of Violet is supposed to be considered the most beautiful mushroom of all. And yet you can clearly see her face here in this banner. I, I don't know, but there's something about her face that makes her look like a JoJo character to me. If being beautiful is a sin, then I am the greatest sinner of them all. Oh, the audacity. I like her. I like her style. It's a burden to be so breathtaking, you know. Yeah, I do know. Dude, holy shit, look at Violetta go. Remind me again, why do we have my character as a hero? We just send Violetta over to fight the villains, that's it? This mushroom is a goddamn menace! Oh dear god, I have to fight my greatest weakness. A weeaboo. Oh Jesus, oh god, oh fuck. Oh, oh my god! Dude, what the hell? I can't even use my dashes or potions here! What in the world is this? This is unironically the hardest thing I've done in my entire playthrough. Well, I've got 10 hours of playthrough, I reached a pretty decent level, I completed a few side stories. I would say I'm at a pretty good spot to end my first impressions review. So what do you say? We go ahead and get on with this game's pros and cons. I'm happy to say that I generally spent more than 90% of my time recording this video with a big old dumb smile on my face because that's just how much fun I was having. However, despite how fun Maple Story is, I can't deny certain flaws that I noticed. But, let's start with the pros. With the very first pro being this game's fun and satisfying fast-paced combat, it is so much fun, so fast, you're just zooming around the place, destroying everything around you. And this is made even better by the fact that every single class in this game has its very own unique mechanic and unique playstyle, which brings me to the next pro, being that this game is basically an alcoholic stream. You've got 49 as of now classes to choose from, all of them are fun in my opinion. And with this much choice, there is guaranteed to be at least a few fun classes for all sorts of players. 
And you are rewarded for making alts by the way, because later in the game, you will knock a system called Legion. And with by going too deep into it, this is in essence a system that gives you account wide buffs for having alt characters. Now obviously there's more to the system than this, but you get the idea. And as if that wasn't enough, you also have decades worth of content to play through in this game, so you have plenty to do. And a lot of that content, such as the special theme dungeons that you saw me do throughout the playthrough, they have this really charming, goofy humor, just so silly, but it, I don't know, I find it to be awesome, it just puts a smile on my face, I love that about the game. Maple Story also has a really unique, charming art style to it, but since those graphics aren't very detailed and not too demanding, this also means that Maple Story is an extremely accessible game to play. You don't need to have a good computer to play it. And this game is also accessible in the fact that it's suitable for all ages. So if you have like a younger family member that you want to get into the game, you know, let them play an MMORPG, this is a good game to do so. And then with all these choice in classes, obviously some of them are easy to play. So they are perfect for more casual players who want something easier uh, for them to just grind a bit and chill in. And my final pro, this game has a very fair gas shop. As long as you play on the reboot servers as I did, you will probably notice that throughout the video I have not spoken about the gas shop even once. And trust me, that's a good sign. That happened because the gas shop was not pushed in my face even once throughout the whole 10 hours that I played this game and I never felt the need to even open the cash shop to the point that, guess what, I didn't even remember that the cash shop existed until a couple days later I was editing this video and figured hey maybe I should talk about the cash shop so that's how fair it is, you, you, there is absolutely no need to spend any money on this game if you open the cash shop on the reboot service it's really just cosmetic stuff and pets and now it's time to talk about this game's con the first and most important con I want to talk about is that unfortunately this game is very poorly optimized there are quite a few moments in the game where they didn't even bother fixing the resolution to match what resolution your game is normally in so as an example i have my game set up to be full screen on a 1920 by 1080 resolution but there are quite a few places in the game that are stuck in an 800 by 600 resolution the three main examples that i can think of are the server selection and character selection screen then there was the starting area for my class the a run and then there's the cash shop. Yes, even the cash shop is stuck on an 800 by 600 resolution. Also, earlier in the pros, I was talking about if you play on a reboot server like I did, the cash shop is very fair and not pushing your face. However, do be aware that if you play on a regular server instead, then those servers are extremely pay to win. So beware of those servers. I wouldn't recommend you to play on those. As a matter of fact, if you go on your server selection, those normal servers are usually dead, while the reboot servers are full of people. I wonder why. I also could not help but noticing that your leveling experience, at least from what I've read until level 200 something, does not give you reason to do any sort of group content at all. It's just solo grinding, solo theme dungeons. So there's barely any socializing until you reach the end game. Which some people don't mind, but I can definitely see this being off-putting to some people. But in the end, I had a fantastic time playing Maple Story, and this is a game that I highly recommend anyone who enjoys MMORPGs to try this game at least once. It's worth it, and it's free to play anyway, so you quite literally have nothing to lose. So I would give this game a very solid 7.5 out of 10. It's a pretty good rating in my opinion. I have taken a few points out because of the optimization issues, 
which I think is an absolute shame, but it's a fantastic game. And that's it for my review of Maple Story in 2023. I hope you had a good time watching this video. If you did, then please don't forget to leave a like or subscribe or maybe even a comment. And I will see you in the next video.